It's not the same. So why we play these games? It's not the same. Stop just playing games. Hey, y'all. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to you. Happy Thanksgiving to you once again, family. And I want to welcome you, welcome you once again to the mental house. With me, your host, your minister of soul, Khadija. Okay, check this out, y'all. I've been having a, some real deep conversations about equality. Okay? And it goes both ways. Okay, now first... It was gender equality, and then it was racial equality, okay? And I want to, in light of, start with the gender equality, in light of the violence that I've seen a lot of women um, involved in that's in same-sex relationships. It's like a lot of you stood broads are really freaking violent. Now, that's when I believe your sexuality has um, really placed a um, a bind on you where you can't deal with your anger, where you haven't been given an opportunity or nobody introduced you to therapy. Because there is something wrong here. When I'm reading these stories about these lesbians, these women who are attracted to other women, whatever damn label you want to put on a person, um, why they have to be so violent. That's a problem. Now, is it because of the emotions? What is it? I can't say that because you got some men who do women the same way and you got some women who do men the same way. So, People are people. However, because women want equality does not mean, at least in my humble opinion, and I would hope not, that they don't think that they're as strong as a male. See? That's where we get into this, uh, like this transgender craziness where a trans man can actually, or a transgender man that wants, that goes to be a woman, thinks that he can compete with uh, cisgender women. This is when you have to change the perception of freedom because it's gone mad. And once white folk get a hold of stuff, they take it to the damn extreme. Yeah, I said it, and I'm going to say it. They don't know how to leave well and left alone. Okay. And when you think about it, y'all know it's the truth. Just like black people fought all these devils for civil rights. We fought everything, got water hoses and, and everything put on us. Hung, lynched. I mean, everything. For the right to vote. For some, some semblance of equality in this country. They create a few programs like affirmative action or whatever else, and then white people take over. This is what they've always done. Like when the government was going to, after the genocide of the Native American, um, uh, 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 they were giving them $5 for their reparations. And who was the first ones in line? Who catapulted off of the situation and made it them, they ass as Indians now? White people, white men. And so we realize that there's a, a issue in this country that has to be addressed, and that is the diabolicalness of most of our Caucasian male brothers. They're diabolical. And they don't want to see this because it's like cognitive dissonance. Like, what? You complaining again? Listen. Every time I turn on my damn TV, I got to watch a movie about Hitler. 
every freaking time I turn it on, I got to see some Hitler shit. Yet you wanted to ring and uh, Kyrie through the ringer for saying he was the real Hebrew. Y'all seem to want to control and try to manipulate people's thought to the degree where they can't even have no free thought no more. Well, I'm not one of those Negroes. I'm not. I've been around too long. You cannot control my thought. That's why, and like I said, I'm old enough where I don't got a lot of patience with the foolishness. If y'all think you're going to uh, come on and start, I mean, I don't mind a great debate. I love it. In fact, I love it. But if you want to come on with some immaturity and madness and stuff that makes no sense, but somebody that's uh, demonic, in my opinion, that's because that's all that matters on my channel, is my opinion. Then I'm going to block your ass. I'm going to get rid of you. I'm going to not entertain you with a conversation because you're showing me you can't be serious. And you on some childish bullshit. I'm about nation time. My people ain't got time to play. At all. We don't have time to play about nothing. We had the low enema totem pole. Y'all have stole everything from us. The wealth gap is too vast. It's for me to be sitting up here playing with y'all. I can't do it. And at the same time, I can be a lover of humanity. Because I point out the wrong that's that's being done, does that mean I don't love humanity? Because your parents have to point out your wrongness, might have to beat your ass. Does that mean they don't love you? That wouldn't mean, does that mean they wouldn't go to war for you? Hell no, it doesn't mean that. So two things can be true at the same time for all you slow folk out there. But I just want y'all to know that there is no equality in, in gender in terms of women trying to be men and thinking that they're just as strong as a man. That's insane. And it's insanity. Okay? No man that's done transformed himself to a woman should be in a race with all women who haven't had hormones or none of this kind of stuff. No, it's not fair. It's not fair for you to uh, come over here and, and beat us down. It's just not fair. So if, if that's your idea of equality, then we need to change some things. You know, I I do believe that if you want to continue to have these type of um, conversations and these kind of outcomes, then something got to be done about it. We can know, you know, either you're going to have to have a, a transgender league for transgender males and or transgender uh, uh, females. You will have to figure that out because it's certainly... Not fair for you to come over here and beat the brakes off for cisgender women and think that, well, everything is equal. You ask for, we ask for equality, meaning we don't want to work on the same job as a man, do the same thing as a man, and he get paid $10 an hour and we get paid 7 That's the kind of equality I'm talking about. Anybody else talking about something different than that, then that's on them. But I'm talking about the way it should go. And if you're a woman out here that's engaged in a relationship with another woman and you don't know how to handle your emotions, you need to go somewhere and get them in check and you don't need to be in no kind of relationship. None whatsoever. And I mean that. And if you're that violent, where you burning down women's houses, burning up their cars, all that because they don't want to be with you no more. And I know it's, a lot of times women feel like it's, di it's, it's difficult because you can't be as open and get, but hell, y'all open and, and out anyway. So what's the problem? You can't make nobody love you. Can't make nobody want to be with you. 
So if they don't want you, they just don't want you. No matter how bad that hurts. All of us have been there before. I'm sure everybody under the sound of my voice have been with somebody who didn't really want them. Or you wanted somebody and they didn't want you. You got to deal with it. And y'all haven't learned that. Yes, it's, it's your, it starts in the home. However, if you didn't get it there, because they put so many of us in jail that we don't get to raise our children, we feed the system with our bodies. Whether we committed a big crime or a small crime, we supply the bodies for the prison industrial complex and every damn thing else. So we're on the bottom of the totem pole and they're going to find the ways to manipulate our family. So that's why we haven't been able to teach our children a lot of things. Because I have to consider, all, I count up all the costs as to why we're in this condition. I'm not going to just do no surface swimming like a lot of y'all want to do. Let's get deep into the thing. Anyways, again, for you women that don't know how to handle your life and your relationships, y'all need to get out of them. Because you got no business putting your hands on nobody, man or female or female, that don't want to be with you anymore. And if you're doing crazy shit like that, again, you do not need to be in a relationship, period. You're not ready. Uh, it's hard enough to deal with, uh, to handle those kind of emotions. And a lot of people can't, and that's okay. But don't make somebody else a subject to your madness because you haven't figured out a way to handle your emotions. And that's for all you women out there that are beating on other women. I just have to say that. So with that being said, look, leave your comment below because I really want to hear it. And I'll see you in the next video.